CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone-cold loser. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone-cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the UK on Monday. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the, by the remarks delivered as Trump began in his state visit to the UK on Monday. It added that the US was expected to behave more like a role model. But added that the U, added that the US was expected to behave more like a role model. Mother. Khan said, this is the sort of behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. Khan said, this is the sort of behavior I would expect from, from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond like in, in a like, man, in like ma manner. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name-calling. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name calling. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the U.K. on Monday, but added that the U.S. was expected to behave more like a role model. Khan said. This is the sort of behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It's mm. not for me to respond in a like manner. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name-calling. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone-cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the UK on Monday, but added that the US was expected to behave more like a role model. Khan said that this is the sort of behavior, uh, behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. I think it beneath me to do childish tweets and name calling. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone cold loser. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the UK on Monday. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the, by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the, to the UK on Monday. It added that the US was expected to behave more like a role model. But added that the US was expected to behave more like a role model. Khan said, this is the sort of behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. Khan said, this, 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 is, this is the sort of behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name-calling. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name-calling. CNN reports that London Mayor Sadiq Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone-cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the U.K. on Monday, but added that the U.S. was expected to behave more like a role model. Khan said, this is the sort of behavior I would expect from an 11-year-old for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and name-calling. CNN reports that London Mayor Steady Khan compared Donald Trump to a young child after the U.S. president called him a stone-cold loser. Khan told CNN that he was not offended in the slightest by the remarks delivered as Trump began his state visit to the U.K. on Monday, but added that the U.S 
as U.S. was expected to behave more like a role model. Come say that this is the sort of behavior I would, I would expect from an, from an 11 year old. It's for him to decide how he behaves. It is not for me to respond in a like manner. I think it's beneath me to do childish tweets and then call in. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. Uh, however, there are ton there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. One of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day. The ones that don't fall off natural can leave a great tint. One of these reasons could be dead skin, dead skin cells. Millions of skin cell cells shed every day and the ones that don't fall off natural can leave a great tint. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you're stressed and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. Stress may also be a factor. Co uh, cortisol, level cortisol levels go up when you are stressed and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. One of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day. The ones that don't fall off natural can leave a great tint. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you're stressed and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. And however, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. One of the reasons uh, could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day, and the ones that don't fall off are natural can then all don't fall off. natural can leave a great tint. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you are stressed, and blood goes to your goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin's uh, skin look sallow. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. Summer is, he Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine, combine to make your skin look dull. One of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day. The ones that don't fall off natural can leave a great tint. One of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day, and the ones that don't fall off that natural can leave a great tint. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you're stressed, and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you are stressed, and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look, uh, look sallow. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look dull. One of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cells shed every day. The ones that don't fall off natural can leave a great tint. Stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you're stressed and blood goes to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. Summer is here and glowing skin is the absolute goal. However, there are a ton of factors that can combine to make your skin look, look dull. Uh, one of the reasons could be dead skin cells. Millions of skin cell uh, cells shed every day, and the ones that don't fall off the natural can leave a great tint. Stress st stress may also be a factor. Cortisol levels go up when you are stressed, and blood goes to to your organs, not your face. This can make your skin look sallow. A new study published in the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP. A new study published in the uh, American Ac Academy of, pa of Pediatrics, AAP, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. Uh, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in sitting devices, nearly two thirds were in car seats. According to Offspring, researchers found that, found that of, the, of the infant who died while sleeping in, the sitting, in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seats. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a decade. 
The, an the analysis looked at 11,779 step-related deaths of infants over a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Corvin, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared the deaths occurred when the cars... Uh, Dr. Dr. Jeffrey Coven, the lead the lead author of the study, stated that he appeared the death occurred when the car seats were being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. When a car seat were being used as a substitute substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. A new study published in the American Academy of Pediatrics, or A, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seats. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Colvin, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared the deaths occurred when the car seats were being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. A new study published in the American Academy of, of Pediatrics, AAP, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the, of the infant who died while sleeping in sitting, in sitting devices, nearly two thirds were in car seats. The analysis looked at 11,779 11, sleep related deaths of infants over a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Coven, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared that deaths occurred when the car seat was being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. A new study published in the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP. A new study published in the American Academy of, of Pediatrics, or AAP has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. Has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once, you, once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seats. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in, a, in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seats. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a decade. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a, of a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Colvin, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared the deaths occurred when the car seats were being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. Dr. Jeffrey Colvin, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared that he appeared that death, death occurred when the car seat was being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. A new study published in the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you've removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seats. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Colvin, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared the deaths occurred when the car seats were being used as a substitute for a crib or bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children. A new study published in the American Ac Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, has shown that allowing your baby to sleep in their car seat once you feel removed them from the car is dangerous. According to Offspring, researchers found that of the infants who died while sleeping in sitting devices, nearly two-thirds were in car seat. The analysis looked at 11,779 sleep-related deaths of infants over a decade. Dr. Jeffrey Coven, the lead author of the study, said that it appeared that deaths occur when the car seat was being used as a substitute uh, for a crypt and, or, or a bassinet, and not for their intended purpose of transporting children.